Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Solve Logarithmic Equations. Question 6, Exponential Form. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is pretty slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. If I could stick every single math student with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius, I probably would. So inbox me at kneemedicine at gmail.com to get your healthy dose of Algebra 2 by ordering and purchasing the complete cram session. You have lots of friends, colleagues, classmates, and our pairs who are taking Algebra 2 with you, and they too could use a healthy boost of this cram session. So tell them to inbox me at kneemedicine at gmail.com so that they too can order and purchase the complete cram session. You'll be glad you spread the word because they'll make great study buddies. Let's delve into the concept. Question six, common basis. If log base b of x is equivalent to y, then x equals a y times b, b y raised to the b, c, b raised to the y, or d, y divided by b. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so hopefully by now you are able to press pause and arrive at an answer, and if you didn't, that's completely fine. Okay, so here goes our basic format of a logarithmic um, equation. And what we're going to have to do to obviously arrive at an answer is get rid of the log and rewrite it in exponential form. And if you're not familiar with the whole logarithm and exponent world, you may not have known that this is what you need to do. Okay. And the first thing that I want you to do is remember that a logarithm is actually an exponent. It's an inverse exponential function with the same base. Therefore, the log base b of x is equivalent to y means that y is the exponent, okay? So y is the exponent of base b, of this base b, that results in x, okay? All right, I actually jumped the gun a little bit too early. So this is kind of like a mixed up way of saying this. Again, y is the exponent of base b that results in x. So what a logarithm equation does, it gives you the actual result and asks you to find the exponent. Okay, and so obviously, um, based upon this, x is equivalent to b to the y, therefore the correct answer choice is answer choice c. The great thing about Algebra 2 is sometimes there's more than one way to arrive at an answer. So um, another way you can have done this is undo the logarithm, okay? And we would have to undo the logarithm on the left-hand side of the equal sign by raising the specified base, um, base b, to the exponents containing the expressions on both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So that's what I did down here. I took base b, the base um, that's specified in this particular equation, and I raise base b to the log base b of x, okay? And what's the reason for doing this? Raising base b to the log of base b is basically going to undo both of these. They'll both cancel, and it will reveal whatever the result is within the parentheses, okay? And remember that whatever you do to the left-hand side of the equal sign or the equation you also have to do to the right hand side or you must perform the same operation on the right hand side to keep things balanced. So I also raise base b um, to the y, okay? 
and therefore when we simplify things, we get that x is equivalent to b raised to the y, which again is answer choice c. So it's kind of cool and neat to see how you can arrive at the same answer in two different ways. Okay, so inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order and purchase the complete Algebra 2 Chrome session. You'll be glad you did. Good luck studying and thanks for tuning in.